speak to the uh, the mood of the team? Uh, are you guys having to pick people up? Or you have? Or uh, Greg was talking about some of the leadership. Maybe it, it's, at times this year it hasn't been as effective as it was last year. Are you having to get in people's faces and get them motivated, help them get that intensity? What's going on right now? Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say there's any sense of panic or anything like that. I mean, it's some people haven't been in this position before. You know, losing losing two games and in a season, but it's uh. You know, we still got a lot of football left to play, and you know, we just got to keep getting better. We got to keep having a sense of urgency at practice, and you know, do the things we're supposed to do, and, and you know, play the way we're supposed to play. And that's uh, it's really all we can worry about right now. There's not really a, you know, like I said, a panic mode, and people, you know, calling people out and getting in by's faces. It's just, you know, everybody's got to do their job and do what you got to do. You guys are facing a Mississippi State team that's much improved over last year. Just talk about uh, defensively, you know, keep stopping them, penetrating you guys a little bit. Right, they uh, they are very good. They run a three-man front, which is which is kind of what our what our base defense is. And um, you know, they they they've played some good teams this year and really had some uh, good results. They're a really well coached football team. They're always going to have good defensive fronts. Um, you know, they've got a new defensive coordinator who's done a great job this year, and their uh, their offense has also uh, been strong this year. So they're. Uh, you know, like every other game in the SEC, it's going to be a challenge. See the comfort now playing back at home now after being on the road. How much is that getting back into your guys' comfort zone? Um, I mean, yeah, you know, it's an advantage to play at home. And there was, you know, some times this past week where, you know, it probably got a little bit loud and some communication errors kind of kind of took place. But you know, you can't let that stuff distract you. That's 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 part of football, and that's you know that's what you know we know we got to deal with when we go on the road. So, you know, it's uh, hopefully it'll play into our advantage this week. Do you consider yourself a better team here at home than on the road? Uh, you know, I don't know. I mean, that's like I said, it's you know, we got to do what we got to do. The field's always 100 yards long and 52 yards wide, so it's you know, football's football, and that's doesn't really matter where you play at. Well, your coach statement said after the game that you know that um, the guys need to take the process and they need to enjoy it, the process of getting better and working at it every day, and like that. Do you think the team has kind of lost a little bit of that about the? The enjoyment of the game and just enjoying coming out every day and doing the best you can and playing as hard as you can. Well, I mean, I think what he said as far as you know, a lot of people being result oriented. You know, he, he tells y'all the same stuff he tells us because that's, you know, he calls it like he sees it. and He's very honest with everybody, and he's, uh, you know, he's he's our leader and he's who we follow and he's who we listen to, and he, um, you know, he's right. I think he's definitely right. It's, it's something that we gotta just get back to the basis. Look look at the little things and pay attention to detail. That's, you know, that's what got us so far last year. That's what we got to get back to doing. Like more guys need to be called to the mat, so to speak. On that. Uh, I mean, people just need to realize, take a step back, and you know, look at yourself as an individual, and that's kind of, you know, if everybody can can do that and improve upon that, I think it'll help the team out. Chance Wormack has come a long way since last year. Can you talk about how much he's improved and what he does to contribute to the offensive line? Well, he's very talented, you know, especially for a young guy who's, uh, you know, I think he's, I don't think he think he's 20 years old yet. He um, done a great job this year, and the, you know, he's had some growing pains, just like. Everybody would have being a young player, but he's uh, he stepped in, worked extremely hard, and you know I really enjoy playing next to him. Uh, you know I feel like I've helped him out a lot of times, and he's helped me out a lot of times. So it's uh, you know I really like I said I really enjoy playing next to him. He's uh, got a very bright future. Well, how important is it to kind of get across to the guys that there's still something to play for? I mean, you've lost two games, but you've seen in years past where things have kind of. Falling into place, and you know, I know teams kind of maybe back into something, but still you get there. Like there's still a scenario where you guys could get to the SEC championship game. How important is it to get guys to kind of maintain that focus and keep playing hard? Well, like you said, you know I think we've all seen it before, and you know, I don't really think you need to get that point across. I think everybody knows that. I mean that's something that, you know, that, that's something that we know. There, there's always something to play for, and we certainly have a tremendous amount to play for. And it's, uh, you know, comes back down to what we do and. How we practice and uh, you know, you know, our attention to detail and all that type of stuff. So it's uh, like I said, it's nothing to you know to panic about or anything, and there's nothing to to really stress and get a point across. Everybody's just got to you know come together and you know go to work. Anything else? What are you guys' so what are you guys' goals from here on out? Do you have y'all set any goals or? I mean, you want to win every game you play. You know, you know. Every play has a history and life of its own, like Coach Saban always says, and do the best you can every play and try to prepare yourself to be successful on Saturdays.